I pulled up the tier list maker to see what we're thinking about how this format's going to go. Don't make the 30% of you that have not smashed the evolving crap out of that subscribe button. Smash it so you guys don't miss out more OS content. All right, so bear with me here. There's a lot to discuss in this video. So this is our expected tier list. Hey, it's Gate Guardian. You know what? We're going to toss this and can do something. I wholeheartedly believe that this deck, especially like if you're trying it with the punk stuff, you can at least kind of push yourself up to Rogue and you can kind of win some free decks. Um, I'm also going to put Vanquish Soul up here in tier two. I really do think the TC boot control is a deck that a lot of people are going to have to be aware of. Um, especially, once again, we talk about people not really knowing how to read their cards. Um, this definitely does seem like the sector of things where things can go pretty well. Um, Abyss Actors. This is going to go down here in our favorite category, can do something. because Strictly because it, it, it can do something. I think this is a, a very, very cute deck at the end of the day. There are going to be a lot of these. Uh, Despia. Oh man, is it tier 1 or 1.5? Um, I'll be on control. I'm going to put it in 1.5. I, I have a personal, uh, a very personal bias towards this deck at this stage, but to be honest with you, like, it doesn't feel like it's that crazy right now. You know what I mean? Like, I think it can do stuff, but we'll have to wait and see. Uh, Cash tier is obviously tier 1. Um, whether or not it's, like, the better section of tier 1, it's definitely something that you're going to have to be aware of. Obviously, Macro Machine's still good, but it's a lot more breakable than it was. Uh, Black Wings, once again, this is going to go down here and can do something. Um, don't underestimate Black Wings. It's kind of like the whole genuine thing with a lot of these tier lists here is, you know, the can do something decks, like, the, the lower half of Rogue has never looked a lot better. Like, if I can take one of these decks and, you know, perform okay with it on a local level, yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, Sprite's going all the way up here. I think that Sprite is by, honestly, Sprite looked like it was going to be one of the best decks in the format. Um, and I, I honestly, I think that you're going to see a lot more of this kind of edging this out. Because right now this deck is a very consistent monster. Um, this deck is going to do a lot of things, and it's going to do them very, very, very weirdly. Especially, especially like the Evil Twin Runic Live Twin, yeah, Live Twin Evil Twin. Evil Twin Runic Sprite. That deck. I also like Pure Sprite is still very much a deck. So we're going to put this in the upper half of tier one. Uh, Naturia Runic. Um, there are going to be people that are going to try to play this. I almost want to put this. I, I almost want to put this in Rogue. Um, oh man, because strictly that Naturia package, the Runic package is just going to carry you. Like, there's no ifs, ands, or buts about this. Though you got to be very aware of what you're doing playing this. Yeah, good luck. Have fun. Dinosaur. So with the Transcend Drake stuff, does this deck become better? I, I think that we're going to leave this in the Rogue category for now. I think that you will be able to win some free games. I think that it's going to be very, very strong for you to do so. Um, you're just going to have to work for it. Trap Tricks? I'm going to leave up here in Tier 2. I honestly... Actually, yeah... This is only here because of literally the runic cards. I'm telling you that. I do think Trap Tricks with the evenly matches is going to be really good. Um, I think a lot of people are going to look at this matchup and they're going to go, oh, this is this is free. No, it's not. You're going to have some issues out here. Um, Math Mac. Oh, man. I don't know where to put this. This is such a unique... I, I guess we'll bump it down to Rogue. Um, I do believe, though, that honestly... Um, somebody is going to come up with a way to abuse this. This is a ticking time bomb waiting to happen. Uh, we're also going to leave this down here in Rogue. I, I think of this deck is also very, very good. Uh, er, er, Minkonko good stuff. Hmm. You know, this did just top a national slash regional. Um, I forgot which one it was, but you do need to be aware that Battle Phase Reflection is actually a deck. It's kind of it's doing a lot better than some of this other stuff. Also, Ninja also just roged it up, too. Um, this is also by far the definition of can do something um, slash rogue, but I would I'm going to put this above rogue category at this stage because I do think that this is one of those decks that you're going to look at and you're going to go, huh? Okay, Spriggins, I'm going to toss this back down here into the can do something. Once again, all four of these decks meet the criteria of hmm, that's really cool. Draco Slayer, uh, I'm going to put this in rogue right now. I think that this deck, people need a lot more time to explore it. I think that there's definitely a lot to be had here with this as well. 
And I think that once players kind of figure this out, um, we might actually be onto something here. Um, but we're going to leave it in Rogue because it needs that time to explore. Tritron, I'm also going to leave down here in Rogue. Um, we'll put it here. This deck needs time to cook. All right. Once once people kind of figure out ratios, do its thing. Hey, Dog Monica. Um, well, I mean, this is by far the definition of Albazoa dot deck. I've seen so many builds that just perform here with this. Like this is this is something you do need to be aware of. Uh, Flander. Yeah, we'll put this here. Um, actually, this deck should be rogue. Hmm. Uh, we'll put it here. Honestly, this is this is pretty roguey. Sky Striker. I'm going to hate myself for doing this. I think this deck should be tier 2, but I'm going to put it in 1.5. So many people are going to play this deck straight out of the gate, and they're going to aim to round this out. Um, and it's going to be one of those decks that a lot of people are going to be like, oh yeah, this is why I hate Sky Striker. Yeah, I understand. Trust me. Uh, Generator. Um, we'll put this down here. <laughs> a, lot of, a lot of rogue, honestly. Um, Generator is definitely one of those decks if you're not prepared for it, you're going to be like, what? Same thing with Gold Pride here. Gold Pride deck is definitely one of those that's going to be doing a lot. Oh, hey, look, Dark World. Another one of the definition of can do something, or slash rogue. Um, good stuff. Um, Labyrinth. Um, Labyrinth immediately goes up here into 1.5. Um, I don't think that Labyrinth is better than some of the other decks up here. I think there's a lot of things that you've really got to consider in the tier for this deck to work. Uh, Dragon Link, um, I'm also going to put up here. Dragon Link is a very, very strong deck right now. I, I, we'll have to wait and see. Um, I think it just might be good players kind of rounding this out. But there's a lot of cool things that this deck can still do. Uh, Earthbox, I'm going to put this down here and, and can do something. Uh, it depends on its matchups, depends on what it can do here. Um, but it can do something. Uh, Plunder Patrol Runic. Uh, we'll put this back here with the other variant. Once again, these these Runic cards are the the carry. <laughs> like they they do things. Uh, Punk. Uh, we're just gonna leave this next to this. Like obviously, this has a lot to do with this. Uh, At Emancipator. Uh, this kind of we've we've seen a little bit of this with Super Heavy right now. Uh, you do need to be aware that this is kind of a deck right now with the Super Heavy scales. People are. Kinda, kinda messing around with this. Um, runic anything? We're just gonna put pure runic up here in 1.5. Um, I think that gets very scary. Uh, Crystal Beast back here still. Now I haven't uh, haven't touched on Scareclaw yet. So Scareclaw is in a very unique position um, because this is gonna be very player dependent. I think this deck is a little bit ahead of the curve for a lot of things, but it's it's gonna have a little bit harder of a time versus certain other things. I think of this deck will have a very interesting matchup out here. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, Sword Soul, you know, I, I, it's old reliable. I'm gonna, I'm still gonna put Sword Soul as like the border. Like what Sword Soul's major end board is, it's very fair. Uh, Rika, I'm also gonna put here. I think that Rika is definitely one of those decks that rides the curve. Uh, Tri Brigade, anything? Put this back here. I'm also gonna put purely here as well because I'm not really sure how this is going to go. Rescue Ace well it, it did do something <laughs> that's right um, Super Heavy I'm going to leave this here strictly because people, so much innovation is happening with this list, so many people are telling me hey Robbie like this is still viable, we'll, we'll put this here just to see what people can cook Phantom Knights actually did something recently uh, which is kind of impressive, I'm going to leave this down here in Rogue, I think you can still do something with this, same thing with Specter Border Stun. Uh, Virtual World also had a little bit of su uh, success. We've seen heroes be successful. And then Zodiac Turbo, I think we're we're gonna just leave here. I, I think you can do something with this as well. Um, I do want to bump this up here to tier two. I think that Math Mech will possibly get the chance to do something. It's it's very very much open the air to kind of see what we'll be able to do here for this, but that's uh, that's kind of what I'm I'm thinking here for this. Uh, very very early thoughts for this month, but obviously these two decks feel a little bit more ahead of the rest of the top cut. So you you got to really consider that um, really. So what do you guys think about these decks? Please you comment down below to what you guys think, and I'll see your beautiful faces back here later in the day, guys. Peace. Patrons!
Thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Check out these other videos.